hello everyone in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to complain in the yoruba language with the most common ways that people complain you know there are different ways that people complain in heavy language so i'm going to be teaching you how to complain in the yoruba language but please do not complain in the comment section but if you have questions you can ask me so how to complain the uh in yoruba language first let's go with i don't want heat i don't want it meal fair so that is it I don't want it me or fair then you can combine it with me or fair mokuro mokuro is take it away so we can also have i am hungry i am hungry i am hungry so what we have here is a b mpami so you know there are different ways that every language actually construct their uh their sentences so hunger in yoruba is a b Hunger is Yoruba, in Yoruba is AB. So in English, Yoruba, in English we say, I am hungry. But in Yoruba, Yoruba we say, hunger is killing me. That's the direct interpretation in English. If we directly interpret it to English, how it's, what it means. AB, unpami, pami means killing me. Pami is killing me. So AB, unpami, hunger is killing me. But that's not, you know, that that's not what it means. But in Yoruba, I am hungry is AB, unpami. But if you want to give a direct translation of it in English, that's where you can say "on guy is killing me." But you know that that's actually not correct. You can't say "on guy is killing me." That's not correct. But in Yoruba, if you want to say "ebi unpami," so if you want to say "I'm hungry," it's "ebi unpami." So you can now say "mofe dana," "mofe dana." Dana is cook. So "mofe dana," I want to cook. So we also have "it's too hot." Maybe, uh, maybe the temperature the weather or whatever it is so it's too hot it's too hot and yoruba will say oru body so yoruba it's more of descriptive it's more of a descriptive language you describe what is actually occurring like okay what is happening so you describe how much it is or how low it is so the yoruba is more descriptive in its language that's why we say ebion pami that is i'm hungry and then hot in Yoruba is Bona or Oru 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 Oru. So it's too hot. Oru yit boju. So direct translation of this in Yoruba is just that this heat is too much. But if you say it's too hot, the way you are going to call it in Yoruba is Oru yit boju. You can now join it with tan AC that is put on the AC. Tan is to hunt something. So it's also have a it's too cold it's too cold cold in yoruba is tutu so when you say otutu that is cold you know there's the difference between cold when something is cold or cold when someone is catching cold but in yoruba they are, we have different words for it uh tutu is just for something to be cold but otutu this is talking about weather so it's too cold otutu yi tipoju otutu yi tipoju that is this cold is too much Boju means too much, and you can now add mo sweater, mo sweater that is take a sweater, so that is for that. And we also have, uh, you can say, please, 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 like for example, you want to, you know, please, 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 please in Yoruba is jo, so please, 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 jo, 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 you can now add otito, otito means it's enough, jo, 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 otito, otito is it's enough, and we also have uh, it's noisy noise in yoruba is ariwo so you won't say it's noisy so as i said yoruba is more descriptive how do you get it's noisy in yoruba you can just say ariwo yi ti kboju ariwo yi ti kboju ariwo is noise so this noise is too much that's just a direct translation of it if we translate these words in english that's just that's the direct translation of it the direct translation is this noise is too much but english has different ways of calling it english just say it's noisy but in yoruba what you will say is ari wo yi ti you you can now add edake 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 means keep quiet and you know when you use a here that means you are talking to more than one person edake keep quiet so we also have a it's too it's too expensive it's too expensive it's too expensive and expensive in Yoruba is one one, so oti one ju, oti one ju. It's too expensive. Oti one ju. It's too expensive. Oti one ju. So 
and you can now maybe add something to it you can now say oti moju me ora me ora i am not buying ra is yoruba ra is buy ra is buy i am not buying me ora oti moju me ora it's too expensive i'm not buying and we also have a i'm tired i am tired i am tired and what you say in yoruba is oti remi remi re is to be tired me is me in the object position if you check my video on narrative voices in the yoruba language you will perfectly understand everything that i'm discussing here so if anybody wants to learn the like yoruba language i will always 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 refer the video to them that go back to the narrative voices the video that i did is four series and i think you should actually check the video if you check the video you, you know see it over and over again believe me you're going to understand the yoruba language very well you're going to assimilate it fast so uh you will understand more of me and o and me and you know mm, a and the likes you understand the usage why it is like that and what it means so uh i am tired ot re me re means to be tired i am tired ot re me so you can now just conclude it you can have something me o she me o she it means i'm not doing me o she i'm not doing so i'm tired i'm not doing ot re me me o she Maybe someone wanted to do something and then you say, I'm tired. Oti re mi, mi o she. I'm tired, I'm not doing. Mi o she is, I'm not doing. So we also have, uh, I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. So this one is, ko si, money in Yoruba is owo. Owo. So have, you know, in English is have. But in Yoruba, we just say, in my hand, owo, owo. So ko si owo, lowo mi, that is, if you want to give a direct transition to this, it means there is no money in my hand. So that's just the way Yoruba we do it. You know, there are some words that we find the more that we actually find the space in a language, but in another language, you just have to be descriptive. So that's just why some of this direct translation will not actually equal to what it is in English. But we know that okay, that is the same thing that it means. So I don't have money. Kosi owo lowo me. Kosi owo lowo me. And then you can add me o lo me o lo that is i am not going law is go so maybe someone invited to a party and then you say ko si o lo o mi me o lo i'm not going so that is for that and so we have a uh, more let me change my board and we also have a uh, i am tired of this job i am tired of this job so and that is ishe ishe is job ishe yi ti su mi su is to be tired of something so ishe yi so you know this tired is different from the other tired that we have that tired is rare to be tired you know english can also use english use tired tired but in yoruba oh no this this is more fed up fed up fed up in this i'm fed up of this job we can actually use fed up here but i just use tired so i think the that the translation of tired here is su that is to be fed up if you want to give it a direct translation in yoruba this su will be fed up but of course we can still use it uh you know to translate tired because it's just a way of saying the same thing. So I'm tired of this job. sumi, and you can say you can hide mio shima. Mio shima means I'm not doing again. Mio shima, I am not doing again. You can also use mio shima in isolation. I'm not doing again. Mio shima, mio shima. So that's for that. And we also have it's smelling. It's smelling. Um, 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 um. It's used to signify continuous and run is for something to smell. So oh no, and you can add Lord Anu. That is go and pour it away. Lord Anu, go and pour it away. So that's just for that. And we also have you are annoying me. You are annoying me. You are annoying me. And what this is? Om Munu Bimi. Om Munu Bimi. Bimi. Munu bimi is to annoy me, like Munu bimi, and uh, that is annoy me. Munu bimi, annoy me. But annoy, annoyance in isolation is inuni bini, inuni bini, inuni bini. But you are annoying me, on Munu bimi. And you can add Jade sita. Jade sita is go out or get out. Jade sita, get out. On Munu bimi, you are annoying me. Jade sita, get out. I also have. It's not enough. Koto. It's not enough. Koto. Koto. 
cool two this one is cool two this one is not this one is two is enough so not enough you can then add fissy so fissy is add more or add to it fissy add to it and we also have a uh, you don't know it you don't know it oh man oh man maybe you give someone something to do and you are just telling the person you don't know it oh man you don't know man is no man is no you don't know so you don't know it oh man and well we you can add you oh man fissile fissile is drop it fissile drop it fissile is drop it and lastly we also have he hasn't arrived he hasn't arrived so ko t de ko t de de is to arrive ko is not t de is just to you know to signify uh that he hasn't hasn't t hasn't arrived ko t de he hasn't arrived so you can then put a shin duro a we shin sti un continuous duro wait that is we are still waiting Ashin duro, we are still waiting. So he hasn't arrived. Koti de Ashin duro. Koti de Ashin duro. Ashin duro means we are still waiting. And I also have my own final complaint. Uh, YouTube is not paying me. So if you actually want uh, to support, this is actually my Naira account. And if you want dollar account, I can supply it to you as well. Or you can use Vemitly or whatever means you want if you're transferring outside of Nigeria. So this is a dedicated account actually. So if any money enters it, I will know. It's actually from here if you want to support there's a lot of investment but um still i think close to quarter of fulfilling the requirements that youtube is giving giving me so that's my complaint as well so if you want to you know support you can actually support so this is everything that i want to teach you in this uh in this uh lesson about complaining in the yoruba language so i hope you've been able to learn a lot from this video you can check other videos that have uh done on this channel and hopefully see you in subsequent videos this is learn yoruba online see you in subsequent videos thank you